Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the isosceles triangle theorem. Question reads, in the diagram of triangle AED below and a, a segment ABCD, segment AE is congruent to segment DE. Question, which statement is always true? Okay, so we have four options here. We're going to take a look at um, all of the four options. Let's mark them on the on the diagram, and then we're gonna um, try and figure out which one is correct. All right. So option one says EB is congruent to EC. All right. So let's mark that on the diagram. EB is congruent to EC. So is that true? Option two says um, segment AC is congruent to DB. So AC, this segment right here is congruent to db this segment right here is that true um next option says angle eba eba this angle right here is congruent to angle ecd is that the true statement or the last one uh angle eac is angle right here is congruent to angle EDB, this angle right here. Is that true? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the information that we're given in this question to narrow down our um, possibilities. Okay. So we're told that uh, in this triangle right here and ABC is a segment, we're told that AE is congruent to DE. So let's uh, mark that. So AE the segment is congruent to DE. So what I would like us to do is take a look at the bigger triangle for a second. Triangle A E D. This bigger triangle. Okay. If you take a look at that bigger triangle, you have a situation that two sides are congruent. Okay. What do you know about a triangle that has any triangle that has two congruent sides. Any triangle that has two congruent sides is known as a an isosceles triangle. Okay, so let's write that down. Um, since uh, segment AE is congruent to segment uh, DE, that follows that triangle AED is an isosceles triangle. Bam. Okay. So now that gives us an idea as to what to use to answer this question. All right. So let's go over a very important theorem that's connected to isosceles triangles. All right. So if we go to our website, mathgotserve.com and go to geometry, you can either click here or go on the top. If you go to geometry, all right, our online class, we have a lot of resources here. And we scroll down to our theorems and postulates. Under uh, number seven for triangles, we have the isosceles triangle theorem. So let's click on that. All right, so isosceles triangle theorem tells us the following. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, then angles opposite those sides are also congruent. So consider triangle A, B, C here. If these two sides, A, B, and B, C are congruent, if these two sides are congruent, then the angles opposite the sides, basically the base angles, are also congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle C. All right, so let's write down that very important fact here, and then we're going to apply to this problem. Okay, so something that you want to recall is what we just went over, something called the isosceles triangle theorem. Which says that if two sides of a triangle are congruent, basically, if it's an isosceles triangle, okay, if two sides of a triangle are congruent, basically, isosceles triangle, right, then the sides, so let's pause for a second. If two sides are congruent, that's what we have here. AE and ED are congruent in this triangle. 
okay then the sides opposite those angles opposite those angles are congruent do you see how where the con um, conclusion of this theorem shows up on our diagram here let's go ahead and take a look at that so <clears throat> So we have these two sides that are congruent right here. So what are the angles that are opposite those sides? So opposite this side, ED right here, this is the angle that's opposite it. And opposite this side right here, this is the angle that's opposite it. Remember, we're looking at the bigger triangle, the triangle on the outside. Don't let the triangle on the inside confuse you, okay? So the angles opposite those congruent sides in the bigger triangle AED, that is isosceles, these are the two angles that are congruent. Okay? So we can see that um, this is a conclusion that shows what the correct answer is. If we consider the options that we highlighted earlier, we can see that uh, the correct answer is going to be option 4 where angle EAC, the base angle on the left, is congruent to angle EDB, the base angle on the right. Let's go ahead and specify what we um, uh, wrote earlier. Um, if uh, AE is congruent to triangle uh, segment DE in triangle the bigger triangle AED right then angles EAC the base angle on the left EAC is congruent to angle EDB the base angle on the right of the big triangle by the isosceles triangle theorem bam all right so there you have it thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation don't forget to help support our channel um, tons of support resources can be found at mathgotserved.com or the links in the description below if you have any questions about what we just went over or any geometry questions in general specify in the comment section below and we be glad to help you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.